What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Just a Fun Guy. This is Just a Fun Guy Coins. Today's video I've been wanting to make for a while, but I wanted to wait until I had a good few week period where I wasn't going to add anything to my collection. But Christmas is over, and my birthday is not for a few months still. So I decided. Why not make a mega video going in depth the whole collection? In the past, I've made videos discussing parts of my collection, but I've never made a video discussing my whole collection and uh, going through it. If somebody wants to know what's in my whole collection, I point them to my playlist where they can go up and down. But not everyone is going to have the time or patience to watch 20 or 30 videos. People do. I mean, I've watched compilations, playlists, and all that before. But not everyone has the patience. So I decided, hey, might as well make one long-form video. Where I am, we got 20 inches of snow last night. I was actually supposed to be at work, but I had to call it off because that, because I am trapped in my driveway and the roads. Let's just say it's like the Christmas song, the weather outside is frightful. So with that being said, I don't want to make this intro too much longer. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video, my collection. Alright. First things first. Let's talk about my proof sets. I have my proof sets. And this is not exactly a proof set. It is the 1982 Lincoln Scent Varieties. Small date, large date, large date copper, small date copper. Nothing too exciting. But what really is exciting is just how magnificent these proof sets are. This is the proof set that I have from 1976. Just came in the one uh, plexiglass case. Th there's one thing that I always say, and that proof coins are going to be some of the nicest coins you'll ever see slash ever have. Because they, as they, like, take for example these ones from 2021. I got this for Christmas from my mom. And she went straight on to, I think it was the government's website, and got these straight from the government. So they were stamped and put in this, and they are never going to see circulation. On top of proof coins being stamped differently from the other coins in circulation. I did a video on that, so be sure to uh, take a look at that video because that was pretty fun to do, talking about the different types of stamps and how the, how the uh, mint does what it does on that. And the last, those two proof sets I got for my birthday. This. No, 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 no. I got those for Christmas. For Christmas. I got this for my birthday. A 1999 proof set. I'm exposing my age a little bit, but that's the year I was born. And these are the state quarters of that year. Just look at how magnificent shiny they are. how beautiful they are. And the 99 state quarters are so popular whenever I'm at my job and opening up a new roll of quarters, I will most likely find 1999 state quarter. Of course, they are nowhere near as, uh, as nice as the one that I have is, or any of these coins. So I mean, they were basically taken from the U.S. Mint in 1999 and the same goes for any mint set that you get it's like they were taken straight from i'm out of focus 
think they were taken straight from the mint and put in a, put in this uh, case here in their cases and they haven't looked back. These coins have never been in circulation and they will never be in circulation as long as I have them. It is common to find a proof coin or two in circulation. They do make their way up there. I don't know why people would break something open to get a proof coin to use, but not everyone appreciates coins like I do. So if you do coin roll hunts, you might find a proof coin. It is, I mean, it's not uncommon. You might find one or two of them, but it still disappoints me whenever I see one in uh, circulation. Both disappoints, and I'm excited that I get to keep it because somebody didn't want it anymore. And of course, the ones you'll find in circulation are not going to be anywhere that's nice. And the last thing I got, it's not a proof set, but the last uh, thing I got to show you, well, not the last thing, but before I move on, is this sticker and these coins. There is a big, there's a YouTube channel who's got about four or 5,000 subscribers. You could have more now. I haven't seen his videos in a while, but it's called JW Coins and Hobbies. I was on a live stream of his, and I think I was the first to comment on something. And I guess you could say this is this is not a proof set, but what I wanted to give away were these proof coins, a sticker. Some silver quarters that I think I uh, just put in my junk silver because they were they, they were really faded. And I think it was my comment was first or something like that. And the date that, that I won it and uh, my name. I, I actually low-key remember the night that I won this. It was the night I was going to bed. I think my mom and siblings had went to bed. And of course my dad was probably downstairs watching TV. Falls asleep on the couch at 3 a.m. Because eh, that's what happens when you fall asleep watching TV. But I, this is what I won from JW Coins and Hobbies. And I guess you could say it falls along the line of my proof sets, but they're not a set, they're coins, that are uh, proof coins, and let's see what else I have for you. I think the next thing I'll cover are my dollar bills, because I also have paper money. Next up are my dollar bills. The first dollar bill I have has a little backstory. For 11 years, my grandparents snowbirded. And for a majority of that time, they would snowbird down to Texas, to Harlingen, Texas. It's about a half hour from Brownsville, which is like the southernmost city in Texas. And it's so close, she was like 20 minutes from the Mexican border and her and her friends would go down to Mexico. This, they, this is actually the first year that they're going to be a home all winter and they came home permanently because of uh, some health issues. But I got this from one of their friends down in Texas. It's a 1942 Japanese occupation of the Philippines, 10 centavos. And it actually looks like old Monopoly money, to be honest. But this is not old Monopoly money. They actually did use this dollar bill in 1942. If the dollar bill could talk, if any of my currency could talk, I would definitely want to hear the stories that they'd have being in circulation and what years and... If there was one thing that I wish could talk, or at least 
have like a hard drive of memory on it. It will be uh, coins and dollar bills. But nice if they came with like a, a USB drive, I could stick in my computer and see their history. Next on the list are some uh, political dollar bills. I don't want to hear political arguments in the comments. But I have a couple of uh, Trump 2020 dollar bills. Of course, of course it didn't pan out the way he wanted it to in 2020, but I'm not going to get into politics because that's not what my channel is about. It's about coins. I have an old $50 bill, which is funny. When I was at work the other day, I, there was somebody handing me a $50 that looked just like this. Someone handed me an old 20 as well, which when it comes to coins and dollar bills I see at work, the one thing I low-key wish I could do that I can't would be take them home, especially if it's an older and in better shape dollar bill. Because, you know, those things, you don't see those things in circulation anymore. But considering that is called stealing, and I am a coin collector, not a thief, and I don't want to steal from a job that I actually like, and considering stealing is frowned upon in many parts of the United States, I won't be able to do that. I mean, even when it comes down to a wheat penny... Or a quarter or something. I don't take it from the drawer. I don't want to steal from my work. Because if you're a coin collector. And you work as a cashier. You're going to have to resist the urge. Funny thing. We have a coin star. At my work. Because I work at a grocery store. And I have found a couple of things. The coin star. But uh. Enough of me uh babbling off let's get back to a, a birthday note i got from jish money and i think i'll link his channel down below because i got a few things from him but he uh he and i got to i've known him his whole life but we really got together in the past couple of years because he coin collected and I coin collected, and that's just one thing we had in common. He hasn't done it as of recently. And I don't know if uh, he's going to continue doing it or whatnot. I haven't spoken to him in a while. Because friends are temporary families forever. Let's just put it that way. We have lives over rolling. And I some I will see him occasionally, but we don't get together like we used to. I would have liked to do another live stream with him one of these days, but I, I don't know what the future is going to hold. I have a little $10 bill. An old 5 from 1988. I have a couple of old, uh, I, I, I guess you could say this one's a birthday note. It's not a perfect example of a birthday note. It says 81176. And then... Another birthday note. I'm not sure which one of these I actually ironically got from Jay Schmoney, a $2 bill. I actually got that uh, birthday note 20 from him as well. And I not I don't quite remember why he gave it to me. I think he said I liked it and I didn't have a birthday note. He was like, oh, here, you can take it. When it comes to coins, uh, when it comes to the coins or the dollar bills... He's been very giving when it comes, at least to me. I don't know why, but he is a great friend for it. 
I have a couple more dollar bills. This one, I think I may actually get rid of this one, being it's in such poor condition. I think this may leave my collection, but I took it out because it's under 50,000. 46,360. And it is in very poor condition, but I suppose being under 50,000, it's a keeper. I, I'm not sure. I'll just put it to the side for now. This one I got for I got it. Um, this one was change. It's not a perfect computer because it has a nine seven at the end of it, but it's all seven fours. This one's a funny one. New York was uh. A couple of months ago, New York got a recent change in governors. Not planned recent change, but Cuomo was either going to get impeached or resign because of allegations. And I found this one that says, Cuomo must go. Save New York. And be careful what you wish for, because I heard Kathy Hochul is no better than he was. And here's an oldie but a goodie I got from change, actually from a coin collector when I, when I bought some coins. Series 35D. The oldest $1 bill that I have. And the serial number is 1234120, which I think is pretty cool. Let's see what else there is. Next up, I have these and coins and corn rolls. Let's see, did I lose one? Oh, here it is. I was sitting on it. This coin tube is full of steel pennies. And I got uncirculated 2019 pennies and 2020 pennies. And I have not gotten to the bank to get 2021s. And I don't know if I'm going to get to the bank to get 2022s. 2021 was an awkward year for the bank, my local bank. And that's the only bank I knew to get coins from because I had an account there. I'm in a smaller area, so there's not many banks I can get coin rolls from. So it's kind of awkward in that situation. But out of the coins in the flaps, here's a 1964D. It's not going to focus. See if I can get it focused when I can just get this. Un this is an uncirculated 1964 silver dime. Is that going to focus? Is it? Oh, there it is. And I don't think it's a proof. It looks like a proof because of how shiny it is, but I don't think it is. I'd have to put it under a microscope to actually see what it is. And this one I found in a corner off center. I'll just rattle them off for you just so I don't have to torture myself. I got a uh, 2001 proof dime. A 50 cent trolley token from 1908. Gold plated steel penny. One of my personal favorites, a blank planchet. And a blank planchet is a coin that wasn't struck. It escaped the mint without being struck with Lincoln on it. Queen Elizabeth the 50th. A uh, coin from 1669. 2009. And a 2021. Just a brand new dime from the roll. Get all this straightened out. 
And that's the uh, pretty decent stack. Oh, I got some more coins I could put in here as well. These coins are pretty, pretty epic. I think I put them there just because it was very unorganized, but the next coins I have to show you, a few of them are silver and a few of them are just pretty freaking awesome looking. I have a Walk in Liberty Quarter, or a Standing Liberty, SLQ Standing Liberty Quarter. A couple of uh, 1776 Washington quarters, and the very first nickel that was minted in the United States, a shield nickel. So this shield nickel is from 1868, and this thing's getting kind of worn out, so I will stick those coins in here. And I'll have these coins share their spot with a King George V and a Queen Victoria Canadian large penny. And here are Indian head pennies. Those were the pennies that were made before Abraham Lincoln was on the penny. The first penny to have Abraham Lincoln on it was minted in 1909, and those were the first wheat pennies. But here's what pennies look like before Lincoln. That's never going to focus. That's way too dark. And it's an 1896 Indian head. This coin here I got for Christmas. It is a United States of America Colombian half dollar. It has Columbus on it. And it celebrates the Columbian Exposition. This were uh, sold at the World Fair in 1896. And my personal absolute favorite prized coin of my collection, a Morgan dollar. I am naming my child after this dollar, the Morgan dollar, because I just, there's something about these coins that, they're a beautifully minted coin, and this one is in amazing condition. I'm, I, I can't express in words how much I love those coins. And here is a pendant box, or a Sears necklace box full of coins. I got this box along with a couple of coins at an auction. And a lot of those coins, I don't even think are in here anymore. I'm not sure, but <laughs> I've added a lot of coins since then. <laughs> um... That's a cough laugh. Uh, it, yeah, it, it held a pendant at one point, but now it holds my coins. I have a 1970 Granada $4 coin. Two cent coin. This is a very fine 1888 one cent Queen of Victoria. This 1857 Flying Eagle that was on my dream coin list, but it was given to me by Jay Schmoney. Same with this 2019 River of No Return W quarter. I have a 1900 Indian head penny, a misprint, 
Um, let's see, this is an 1825 Coronet Large scent. The misprint, it's a penny, but only one of the edges was struck. And I have another penny that I got from an auction that's just like that. And these pennies are actually, I think, a little cooler than Blake Planchets because you can tell they were attempted to be struck, but there was close but no cigar. And here is an 1848S seated half dime. Very cool coins in here. Now, on to... The coins in the plastic bags. These coins I have here are not, this is not the rest of my collection. I put away coins from 30 or 40 different countries, like a world coin collection sort of. I have a family friend who sent me for another birthday present coins from about 30 different countries. And, oh my gosh, there's a lot of them there. If I was to bring that out of storage, this video would be probably an hour or two longer. But right now, I want to color just the rest of these. Because this video is already going to be pretty long. And these are just the coins I have just out in the open and not put in the storage. These coins here are all 2009 pennies. I don't know if I'm going to collect any more pennies from 2009 because I have a lot of them, but I guess we'll have to see. And this, I'm going to store this plastic bag. I'm going to use an old Whitman sampler, just an empty Whitman's chocolate box, chocolate box. I got this for my mom for her birthday. I think it was her last birthday. Yep, I dated the uh, the box so I know what year it was from. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this. Is I want to keep this box nice for a longer period, a long period of time. So I don't know if I'm just going to. Ah, uh, I'll keep it in the other box that I have my coins in. It's kind of beat up a little bit. It was beat up from the get-go, but it's going to be more beat up now. Put the 2009 in there. Inside of here is a bunch of clad half dollars. This one is full of francs. My mom and dad went to Paris for a month back in 1994. And these are all, this is basically their chump change. All the francs they brought back from France. And France doesn't use francs anymore. They switched to the euro since then. But 1994 was a little while ago. So I'm not going to have any 95 or newer francs. So I mean, that, that, just, makes, that just makes it even cooler. And here are some British coins. Let's see, I have one pence. I got all the pence and the pound coins that one could desire. And here are just a bunch of oddity coins that I got for just uh, from a coin shop. I was doing coin shopping for my birthday last year. And these were just the coolest coins that I found. And these were all basically in the, in the one dollar bin. So they're not really worth all that much to begin with. This is the biggest coin I have ever seen. To scale, what do I have? For scale, my Morgan dollar, my Morgan dollar for scale, this coin. 
Makes my Morgan dollar look like a dime. It's got a hole in it. I'm not sure what it is. But whatever it is, it's staying in my collection until I decide it leaves. Which it probably never will. A Chinese corn replica. A Kona dollar from Hawaii. <clears throat> it's got a... It's pretty cool. A copper coin. It, get a, it would actually shine up beautifully if I cleaned it. Which you should never clean your coins to begin with, but... It's got Mary and Jesus on the front of it. And I think that's Mary, Jesus, and a couple of angels on the back of it. Pretty... It's a pretty coin. This one, a Team USA Olympic coin from the 1998 Olympics. It's got to be made of aluminum or... It's a very thin, like, cheaply made metal. A coin celebrating the bicentennial. And it's not a... It's a plastic, like, a uh, bar token type coin, which is pretty cool. And this... It's a penny, and inside it, it's inside of something that says, keep me, and you'll never go broke. Which is technically the truth, because you won't have any money, you'll have a penny. Unfortunately, pennies don't go as far as they used to, so the saying may still be true, but... How true, though? <laughs> and here... This is just a bag of, it's just, just a bag of coins that I've collected over the years. Other from coin roll hunts, that were uncategorized. Let's see what I got here. Old Canadian coins, some half dollars. Let's see what the most exciting thing is. I think this is the most exciting thing I got in it. It says five. Nineteen. Forty. Five centavos. This is a nineteen forty five centavos. I'm actually going to keep that to the side. Get a five pence. This is just all coins that I've collected throughout. Just all my findings throughout the years that haven't been... I have a coin roll hunt, so just in a coin star. All the oddity coins. I, de I could definitely categorize this bag and fill it out a little bit, but I'm too easy. And here is all of my dollar coins. I have, for example, presidential dollar coins. This one has Martin Van Buren on it. I have Susan B. Anthony dollars and Ike dollars. On top of some Canadian dollars. I even think I have a Canadian $2 coin in here. This is all old Canadian pennies that I've gotten from all my corn mill hunts over the years. And old being young head and older. All the newer Canadians are with gift to Jesh money when we do corn mill hunts. So I have King George the Sixth. And Young Queen Elizabeth. And the last one, my favorite bag, all my silver. All of my silver coins. Let's see if I can get some silver ass on all. How beautiful does that sound? They don't sound like your clad coins nowadays. It's a totally different sound. I have everything from silver uh, rosy dimes to buffalo nickels to mercury dimes. 
I think I may even have a a barber coin in here. I'm not sure. I think I may even have a barber coin in here. Oh, I have a V nickels. So basically, all the uh, I call it my silver chump change, but the technical term for old silver coins is junk silver. Which that's an oxymoron. Hey, sorry for the shaky camera. Junk silver is an oxymoron because silver is not junk. These coins were more stable than our coins are today. Once they stopped making coins from silver and they moved on to clad, that's when coins became unstable. It was nice when we had some stability on our coins, that's for sure. Well, I think I've covered pretty much everything in my collection. I haven't covered the world coins from like 30 or 40 different countries because that would take too much time and I put them in storage. But, this is not the end of my channel. Maybe the end of the video, but if you want to see more, let me know down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share and hit that bell icon. Until next time, I am signing off. So long, YouTube.